we have talked so far about adding a header to uh, for Moby Rise. We have talked about this header section, uh, which also includes a title and a couple of buttons, and how to change the background, whether it be a background color, an image, or if you wanted a background video. The next section that we're going to look at is a slider. So sliders are very popular. They don't take up a lot of screen space, but they allow you to visually show a lot. Um, so this is the only slider that they have. Remember, I'm going to drag and drop it. So if you remember that, I talked about that. So you can just drag it down to the next one. And now you have uh, basically a slider is going to be just like this header panel, only it's going to allow you basically to switch uh, or actually to flip and to slide through several different slides altogether. You can see here, by the way, if you watched the last video, I talked about the parallax effect. This is the parallax effect. So you can see that the text and everything moves over the top of the image, uh, making it kind of have a three-dimensional look. And you can also see now that this uh, logo is going to shrink as you go down the page. So some nice, really nice effects that they've added into this um, MobiRise editor. And we also have a sticky menu. So the menu travels with us all the way down the page. All right, so slide one, you can see is here. Essentially, you have the same thing. So you can edit any of this text or any of these buttons. You can add buttons, remove buttons, change the size, the color. <clears throat> Again, you can drag and move this block to different places. So if you wanted it to go up above uh, this, then you could do that. Uh, we have a couple of left and right arrows here. So as you click through that, you can see the slides. And then removing the block, and also we have different block, block, block parameters, block parameters. All right, so let's open this up and we'll get into it. Uh, autoplay. So whenever you come onto the screen and we have autoplay, green means yes. So if we look at this in the browser, you can see that we come through that autoplay is enabled. So this should scroll through all the different slides uh, all on its own without having to go back in here and to make that change. We'll see if it does it. There it goes. So it's automatically sliding through. Now you can stop that and make it so that the person has to flip through each of those uh, manually. So that is um, that's the autoplay parameter here. Uh, you can choose to make this a full screen slider or not. So you can see here that this is full screen. It bleeds all the way to the edge. And here you have a little bit of a margin around the entire element, which would create a nice little frame for it, especially if you had a nice uh, full bleed color or another image down below, it would create a nice little white background. Although it doesn't have to be white, you can make it any color that you want. So you could put it a color like this up against it. Um, let's see, a green, some kind of green might be nice uh, based on the colors in here. Um, or maybe even just a light gray to set it off a little bit. So you can see that there's a few options here. I think I'd like to show you full screen here, so let's do that. And then uh, here are your slides. So you have three slides right now. So when you scroll through, there are three slides. You can see each of the slides here. You can actually go to the slide and you can make changes on each slide without having to go to them. And then you, you change the images the same way that you do uh, on the full screen header. So you just click on this part. You can go down. It's a nice Chicago image. And you would go to the next slide, change. And 
let's have this bridge and then we'll go to the next slide and we will change the third slide and let's have uh, about this graffiti road all right so now we've changed the backgrounds for each of our slides <clears throat> if you want to add another slide you just click the plus button and it's going to make a copy of whatever slide you're on and then again you just go through and you make a change if you want to delete all you have to do is go to whichever slide that you want to be on and all you have to just click remove and it deletes it and so now we're back to our first three slides we can choose on each slide to just have an image so we can take off the title the text and the buttons and that affects only this slide so when you go to the next slide it still has everything on it so each of these is a self-contained unit changing one does not change the other uh, so whatever changes that you make on the slide level are not going to make changes to the other slides so we can go back and it's just an image okay so those are the block parameters uh, for the slider so the slider provides a nice a nice way to be able to give a lot of information and also some calls to action uh, based on a very very visual uh, especially here with such a large visual uh, design all right coming up next we will talk about um, the media so how to put uh, YouTube videos and some photos uh, into your Moby Rise page <laughs>